I have been working as a data analyst for the last 15 years. Recently, I started a new job as a senior data analyst with one of the government ministries here in New Zealand. So in this video, I want to share my experience of what it is to work as a data analyst, what tools and technologies that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, how does my day really look like, and what challenges and awesome things that I face before we jump in, I want to share a couple of important notices. Number one is I'm working part-time in this job, so my experience will be vastly different from somebody who is working full-time. And the second thing is I'm working in a specific project in a government setting. So again, the kind of things that I do and the stuff that I get up to is going to be different uh, for somebody who is working as a full-time data analyst in, in a more ongoing project. And the third thing, this is also really important, is that while planning for this video, I shot many clips, but recently I got a haircut. So you will see me with lots of hair and less hair on again, on a, off again in the video. Don't get confused, it is all still me. Let's go. My job title is Remuneration Modeler. And what I do is, so this is my third week at the client's place. And uh, so far, the project has been going very well. Um, I have been trying to understand the folder structure, where everything is, and build my thoughts on what is it that I would be doing in the upcoming months. Uh, as the project stands, uh, I need to collect quite a bit of data analyze it and prepare uh, some very complex costing models so we are still in the data collection phase and right now what i'm doing is optimizing the data collection flows uh, automating certain things and uh, thinking about possible data cleansing data consolidation scenarios but as we move along i will be building the actual model but that's going to happen further down the line so that's really my job at a very high level like I said, this is a project, so I'm only here for a specific amount of time. Once the costing analysis is done and once we figure out what to do, I'm off to doing other things like, you know, making YouTube videos or teaching people how to use Excel. Let's talk about the team that I work in. I have, we have got about 10 people in the team and I closely work with other remuneration specialists and people who understand the employment law and policy and you know nature of work and help us decide what goes where and then as well as with the project manager and the program managers so what does my typical week look like as i mentioned earlier i'm only working part-time in this project so i'm only spending two and a half days a week in the project uh, and i'm working on tuesday wednesday and half of thursday so that's really my work week. And usually I try to be in the client's place either on Tuesday or Wednesday, and then the other time I'm working from home. In a typical week, I spend about anywhere between two to four hours in the meetings. This is my third week here at the client's location. And I just finished a meeting with the various people in the project to understand how things are going and what needs to happen next. I'll update you again somewhere else. So usually we have got lots of meetings on the Tuesday, that is our team day, uh, and that's when we, we all get together to understand what else is happening in others' aspects of work and then kind of share notes and understand what is coming up, what we, need, we all need to do. So meetings take about between two to four hours and then clearing up my email, answering questions, you know, understanding where the data is and everything that takes about another two to three hours. The rest of the time I'm mostly spending it doing the actual data analysis work. And that brings us to what is it that I really do. In terms of my actual work, this week I'm focusing on one of the data submissions that we are receiving. So we have uh, we are collecting data from about 40 plus different organizations and all of their data comes through uh, and one of the branches of the data has come through last week so this week i'm 
really consolidating the data, setting up some Power Query automations to combine the data and doing all of that. The biggest tool that I use about 85% of the time when I'm actually working is Microsoft Excel. So I use Excel to compile the data, clean it up, process it, prepare graphs, do the analysis, create, calculate the cost, everything related to the work is predominantly done within Excel. Within Excel, the main things that I'm doing nowadays are a lot of Power Query. So I use Power Query to collect all the files that we are receiving from various government agencies uh, and pre-process them, change the nature of the data, clean it up, you know, all of those things and then use a lot of formulas. I am really thankful for the dynamic array functions in Excel because I wouldn't really know what I will do in this project if I cannot use those functions, especially functions like unique, filter, choose columns, etc. I have become my go-to friends. So apart from Power Query and formulas, I also do a lot of cost modeling and visual analysis of the data. So I use a lot of charts and then eventually, right now I'm not doing that, but eventually I will get and, and start building more uh, scenarios and what if modeling and even maybe use a little bit of power pivot and pivot tables. Apart from Excel, the other main tools that I'm using are SharePoint for our collection of data. So we have got a large SharePoint A repository that maintains all the project related stuff with uh, you know hundreds of folders and thousands of files so SharePoint is the go-to place where I go multiple times every day to access the various resources or files and then use that and then we also use Power Automate so I have been setting up Power Automate flows to automate some of the work where uh, you know we need to collaborate with people who are outside the organization or in the organization and things need to happen in an automatic way and apart from these things the other usual staples like outlook for checking my emails and replying to them powerpoint for preparing any presentations and slides word for documenting the stuff that i'm doing Let's talk about what is it that I like about this work and what is it that I don't really enjoy much. What I like is that this is a very interesting, unique and challenging project. This is the first time in the history of New Zealand that we are doing something like this. So I found that, uh, you know, it is an uncharted territory for many of us. So I'm really excited to be part of this project and I'm glad, you know, I could contribute and I could kind of learn and grow myself as an individual by being part of this project. So I just finished my work and now I'm going back home. Today has been a really productive day. I did a lot of power query, combined the data. I did a lot of data cleansing, uh, both in power query as well as in Excel and I made some amazing graphs. All in all, a very good day with uh, quite a bit of work done, meetings done. The second thing that I like about this is it is a project. So naturally there is a starting point and an ending point for this project. That means I'm not committing to some unknown thing. I'll be able to come out of this and focus on other aspects of my life like you know maintaining this YouTube channel or giving time to my family or learning new things or you know on my hobbies so that is really one of my goals at this point in life i don't want anything ongoing i would rather get into a project finish it and then come out another aspect that i really enjoy about this is it is a part-time and a fully flexible work so i'm only working half of my week here and then it is a fully flexible environment i can work from office i can work from home so if it's a really good day the sun is out i prefer to go to the city and be in the client's place that way uh, you know, I get to enjoy all the nice beautiful things that the city has to offer But if it's a lousy day and the sun is not out and it is raining it is cold or whatever I would rather stay home and work from home and another aspect that I really like about this project or for that matter Any work is it gives me a chance to get out because most of the time I am working from home uh, whether it is maintaining this YouTube channel or running my business uh, I don't really have to get out of my house to do things 
that means i kind of get closed and i don't interact with people so any time i take up a job my biggest motivator is that i can get out meet people make new friends and you know build up my people skills as well as you know gives me a chance to pick up some new stuff so that's uh, another thing and last but not least the money is great as well i enjoy uh, the challenge but also you know i get paid really well for doing this work now let's talk about what is it that i really don't enjoy much in this work there are not that many things i'm not uh, a really downer kind of a person i tend to always look on the bright side but there are a couple of things that i'm not super happy about number 1 is i'm not a huge fan of the coffee they have there uh yeah compared to the coffee that i make at home i would say that coffee is really lousy and somebody whose day really begins with coffee for me coffee plays a big role in how i feel productive during the day <laughs> so yeah that's one thing the second thing is doing a project like this or getting on a job usually breaks the momentum for me in the other things in life uh, for example because of this job i may not be able to create a new course on my website or make as many videos as i want for the youtube channel or any of those other things so it kind of breaks that momentum uh, it's it's kind of like a good challenge it's not a huge downside for me uh, but there are also other things like you know it would break the momentum of my Uh, regular workouts or ability to spend more time with my family or being there when a friend or a or a close person really needs me so yeah that is really uh, how my kind of like life as a data analyst really looks like uh, i hope you found all of this interesting or useful or amusing uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about what skills you need to be a great data analyst then i suggest checking out this video it talks about five skills that you need to be a great data analyst i hope to see you there bye bye